want to now go to CBS 2's Christine Sloan. She's live at Staten Island University North Hospital with how the injured firefighters are doing. Christine. Dick, it's been a tough day for the FDNY. 22 firefighters hurt in this fire. Three of them listed in critical condition at the hospital here on Staten Island. Now, the mayor was here earlier visiting those three firefighters. The commissioner tells us while their condition is stable but critical, she is hopeful those three firefighters are going to be okay, and that is good news. I cannot emphasize enough that this was a very close call for the FDNY. We could have lost three members today. But it was thanks to the brave work of our members, including those who went in and saved their fellow firefighters, rescued the trapped members, brought them to EMS on scene who treated them immediately, and brought them to this hospital who treated them right away. I feel confident that our teams will continue to deliver the highest level of care to get us through um, this crisis that is really winding down, we're all happy to see um, as we take care of New York's bravest here at Staten Island University Hospital. Now I asked the commissioner if the firefighters were alert and she said they're talking, they're cracking jokes and for that we are all grateful for and that is certainly good news tonight. We're live on Staten Island, Christine Sloan, CBS2 News. Christine, certainly good news.